Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got a gameplay for you guys today. Going to show you guys a defense that I've pretty much been running exclusively uh, in Weekend League, and i just been mauling people with this defense. So I put out a breakdown for this. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, the video breaks down exactly what I'm doing. I'll break it down a little bit in this gameplay as well. Uh, but ultimately, I just wanted to show people. There's still people that question this defense in that in that video's comment section for some reason. So I'm just going to show just how much I've been mauling people with this uh and like i said i'm, I'm gonna be playing you can see i got a really good team but when i go over here when i switch over to weekend league um, you're gonna see that i'm pretty much playing uh you know the exact same level of competition i mean my my team's no better than the teams that you're looking at right now that you'll be looking at throughout this gameplay before i get into the video though if you guys want to see more videos like this as always do me a favor hit the like button or let me know in the comment section other than that this is the defense that i'm running the 335 nickel that's pretty much what i've been running for the last couple of weekend leagues really only two plays the past defense is pretty much going to be the cover three cloud the run defense is going to be a play i'll show you next because I, I pick it in the next series but this is pretty much it i mean you can stop the run with this i basically just pinch this defense spread these linebackers a little bit uh a lot of times i'll just put my my defensive end into a bluff blitz which puts them into a three wreck the three wreck is really key you're going to see on this next play how this three wreck really covers it looks like he's just going to drop straight back but once the play starts you're going to see that he's going to cover so much more i also like to typically go over the top coverage so that 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 cloud flat uh that hard flat turns into a cloud flat but look at this three wreck look how he follows this running back out and basically shuts down the play i mean that's nope. something you would think by the diagram he would just drop straight back the other defense like i was saying the run defense is typically just a straight cover four quarters uh, i do this because these safeties typically play down against the run really well um and you know you can see on this next play and there's nothing really open immediately he kind of holds the ball and throws it to this guy coming back um but like i said that's why the the cover three clouds is a little bit of a better pass defense and the cover four quarters is just a little bit better of a run defense that's pretty much how i use this system so on the next series i mean he's going to take off with his quarterback the first series on defense is usually the hardest because you don't really like the, you don't really know what your opponent likes to do so it's not i mean you can customize this defensive scheme for your opponent specifically but it's not until they really show their hand that you're going to do that so on the first couple of plays of pretty much every game your opponent's going to have a little bit more success than when you start to personalize it to what they're actually doing uh on these first couple of plays i mean you can see you know he's not really getting much though he's getting a little dink and dunks uh on this next series i mean he's running the ball a little bit better but you can see ultimately this is going to slow him down as you're going to see I'm, I'm really eventually getting uh the results that i want here i'm coming out with that run defense like i said cover four quarters is a much better run defense he's been running the ball a little bit nope and now you can see i'm shutting him down on this next play though i mean i i finally make a customization change i go with a qb contain because he's been doing he's been running outside the pocket a lot with his quarterback since he has the watson so on the next play the qb contain is going to take over I get that typical animation where he falls on the ball but nobody touches him we get a timely block he could go we hit him with a, a, a with a little bit of a truck move and we get just enough of a speedy animation back to get the touchdown so super super close but we get the TD. So next play, he's rolling out that quarterback once again, doing a lot of play acts and stuff. Um, I really should have just kept doing the QB contain, to be honest with you, but I, I really didn't go with it based off the fact that, you know, I just don't feel like it's necessary at this point. I mean, he's not really getting anywhere. And then we just keep going with the pass defense. I mean, he's down 7-0, so even though he's been running the ball a little bit, I'd rather him throw against his pass defense. Next play, force it up. Gotcha, bitch. We're going to get a lot of interceptions in this gameplay, as you can see right here. He just throws it right to my man, Taylor Mays. This is one of the most turnover-prone, turnover-heavy defense defenses in the game uh, we're going to go ahead on the first play we're going to use an offensive scheme that i put out recently i'll put a link in the description for this as well i mean it's really just a split back set all i'm really going to do first play i typically just hit him with the fullback dive if i see um you know i mean basically i'm going to do this in just about every gameplay that i show because i'm just paying to see their defense and the second i see what you're running then i kind of customize it but if you're not going to respect this run i'm also going to use this run pretty heavy because this fullback dive is definitely one of the better runs in the game on the next play he reacts 
to that run game and he brings the safety down which is exactly what i want so the second i see him do that and i got inside release on this cornerback i'm just going to streak this guy and if he's not going to get back in time i'm just going to beat him up over the top so sure enough he's down the box a little bit psych break yourself fool so you can see what the run game can do to people, makes them get super aggressive and do stupid things. And that's why when you see me play defense, I don't really do that. I'm going to come out in the past defense nine times out of ten because my ultimate goal is to not give up touchdowns. I don't really care if you want to, you know, run the ball a lot as long as I'm ahead on the scoreboard. On the next play, this pass defense is going to take over one more time. And look at that double coverage. Gotcha, <laughs> he was double covered. He throws right into it. And Night Train Lane. If you don't have Night Train Lane at cornerback, you don't got nothing. This dude is easily the best cornerback in the game. He makes so many plays. And 20 zip, he's gonna go ahead. He's not gonna get to that 21 nothing. He's gonna call it a day. See ya. So next gameplay, we got through that one pretty quick. Uh, this one's gonna be a little bit tougher, but this defense is still gonna shine. I promise you. So on the other side, I mean that's a pretty good team. I'm going against some pretty good squads. Like I said, I'm not going against any busters. Uh, I make a little bit of a change. I typically have my, uh, you know, I leave Kendall Fuller in the back and Taylor Mays. This time I decide to switch him out. I put Tyron Matthew at the linebacker spot and I put Taylor Mays on the uh, the deep half safety spot which doesn't you know I, I typically like to have tall safeties to contest deep balls but I don't find Taylor Mays is necessarily as good uh, on the back half and I think it cost me a little bit down the line on the first play though this guy's going to be super aggressive he's going to try to throw it up against his defense and he almost had something there nope. um, as I barely uh, get the uh, incomplete you know animation uh, but I'm not going to change I mean some people might change up their defense based off of that I could easily go cover two to try to take away those deep balls uh, but you can see right here man right back to that same defense defense and everything is clamped nothing is open here uh, my opponent's just going to stay in the pocket until he gets sacked by a great play by Derek Thomas absolute monster on the defensive line the next play I do go with that cover two man because I mean I really just didn't you know I, I didn't want to give anything deep and I thought that maybe that would be a tighter coverage and look at that he still catches that like what like I said, Stefan Diggs, man, he's going to go off in this game. I don't know if he's just that good or not, but uh, he's going to be a problem. So fourth and two, we're going to go right back to this defense. We're going to go hard flats this time, try to take away any short routes. And sure enough, he tries to throw the hard flats all over that night train nope. lane with a big play. Like I said, if you don't got night train lane, you don't got nothing. Best cornerback in the game, easy. On the offensive side, I'm not going to do too much this series. I go with that fullback inside one more time. Uh, but ultimately, I don't have a very good offensive series. I try to hit him with some man beaters here because I can tell he's in a man blitz uh, and then nothing really works Oops. out so i'm going to take the field goal pretty quick based off the fact that you know if you're going to give me the ball here i can't i can't go for it and not get points at all so i'll take the lead up three nothing right back on defense i got a lot of faith in this defense i'm not too worried about it this defense is going to get it done so in the next series you can see he beats me just barely with a crosser another big play by stefan diggs he's going to be all over stefan diggs this entire game that guy's obviously his entire game plan uh and now he's going to try to throw it up one more time but you know what that's not going to work out. So we're going to get another interception. Like I said, this play doesn't really give up too many deep balls. Another INT for Jeremy Chin. I love that guy as well. So that's why you want those tall guys in the back half. Next series, I mean, I'm right against the goal line. I tried to throw a quick zig, but I don't know what happened there. I'm lucky that wasn't picked off. Next play, I go with a really ballsy call. I'm going to go with a screen play. She's trying to send the house. So I'm going to hit him with a screen. If I get caught in the end zone, I'm going to get caught in the end zone. It's a safety. Get it out just in time, and we get an easy first down. I'm not a screen player. That was ballsy to me i never run screens i never run them and i never run them well so to do that i got away with something there and the next play i'm going to go with i'm trying to run the slot curl but i don't like the fact that andre johnson's running that route i don't trust him at all and i'm trying to flip the play and i take a penalty so now after getting off the goal line i'm getting moved back five yards uh and the slot curl play didn't work out anyway so on the next play we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit these running backs this is one of the harder plays to stop uh in the game it's not a huge play but it's like i said it's one of the harder plays to stop whether it's man or zone these running backs will get underneath pretty much every zone coverage other than hard flats and when it comes to man coverage like you're going to see on this next play you're going to see how he just gets out in front of it based off the fact that the running backs are crossing the man coverage linebackers or whoever typically don't do a good job of covering it and then we're just going to keep hitting these running backs because we're having success if you're going to give me that in this offensive scheme i'm going to take that and i can use that to work myself all the way down the field if i have to the next play, I mean, I know I have this route again. I'm trying to get the deep crosser to beat uh, for a one-play touchdown. So I hold it as long as I can, and then I get out Psych! just in time for another big play as the U.S. is trying to get me for a sack. So that was a no-win situation for him. Uh, and then, like I said, I'm just going to keep running. This play is so easy. It's so wide open. But I could also hit deep routes. That's the thing. Once you start coming down on these short routes, I also got that deep route in my back pocket. A couple of uh, deep routes, crossers over the middle that work out. Next play, probably hit that running back again. I just didn't trust it, and I end up taking a sack. Then I'm 
third goal this formation is gonna i'm gonna switch it up but this this whole drive is gonna unravel once i get into scoring range and i basically walk right into the sack so we take the field goal once again i mean coming from the goal line though coming all the way down the field sucks not to be able to get a touchdown but i'll take the field goal because like i said i got a lot of faith in this defense i'm not too worried about it on the next series like i said night train lane you should have a counter for how many times this guy makes plays i mean he's just an absolute beast he makes plays for me all game he's the best cornerback i got charles woodson now too i just recently picked him up so i'm not 100 percent sure but he doesn't make near the amount of plays even though he's much faster he doesn't make near the amount of plays that night train lane makes so on this next play my quarterback once again everything's locked everything's clamped guess he's gonna come up and make the play here make the sack fumble night train lane <laughs> that's right like i said this dude he's the best if you don't have him go pay whatever 200k 250k whatever you gotta do to get him don't worry about nobody else he's the man uh and then he's gonna you know like i said i'll give these dink and dunks especially on second and long third and long we got to get him off the field here if we get a nice stop and sure enough he's going to force it we're going to go up we're going to pick it off that was a great user lurk all the way from jump we take a nice angle and then sure enough the the red sea parts open he could go all the way we get our third defensive touchdown in back-to-back -back games like i said this defense this defense scores more than most people's offenses that's how good this defense is i've lost count of the turnovers so back on the defensive side my opponent doesn't have a ton of time he's gonna throw it up he sees something there that's the first time like i said taylor mays i don't typically play him in the back side typically got kendall fuller back there so i think that might be why i typically play taylor mays more as a box safety uh but down the next play anyway he throws it up and gets to get another interception uh with matthew i love matthew matthew's a great safety i won't even get rid of him he's only a 90 overall and i still won't change him from my team so on the offensive side for some reason i decide to try to put him away because i'm up 12 i'm thinking if i score again maybe i'll quit and i basically give him the ball right back with an opportunity to make a play not a lot of time like i said i have a lot of faith in my my defense anyway as nitro <laughs> makes another play uh but i mean ultimately i probably should have just ran the clock out and on the next play i mean he found something here as stefan diggs comes up big once Damn again it. and absolutely burns uh, Taylor Mays. Like I said, I just don't think Taylor Mays. I think Taylor Mays was the problem. I don't think it was the defense. I changed him out not too long after that. But regardless, I let my opponent back in the game. So we got to hit him with something big here. On this next play, I noticed for some reason he's playing down the box. I, I thought maybe he was going to cover one robber. He basically cuts off this uh, slant. But then when I go back to this to the play screen, he was in a cover two man. That's not a good look. So I'm going to set that trap. I mean, all I got to see is that he's on that guy once again. And I got to believe he's going to cover this slant the same way once again. <laughs> Get locked. So I put that dude on a slant. Sure enough, he bites on it. Psych! Break yourself, fool! We got Tyreek Hill right behind him for an easy one-play touchdown. Not necessarily designed, but if you're not going to follow your defense the way you're supposed to follow your defense, I'm going to take advantage of it. So on the defensive series, next play, I'm in a cover two man because I'm not trying to give up nothing deep. Nope. Uh, the cover two man, like I said, is probably the third most play that I use in this formation, but I'm going to go right back to this. You can see I'm moving my guys off a little bit because I'm not trying to give up anything big. If he wants to dink and dunk me a little bit, run the clock on himself a little bit, I'm totally content with that because I'm up two scores. And then once again, boom, Night Train Lane making another play. Like I said, we should just have a little counter keeping track of all the plays that night train lane is making because he's definitely the best player on my defense and i don't even think it's close so he's starting to run the ball a little bit now i mean if you want to run the clock on yourself down two touchdowns i'm all for that go ahead buddy so i'm not really going to change my defense up too much to stop that it's just not smart and then on the next play he's trying to throw it up again like i said you're not going to beat my deep safeties and we get an interception to effectively seal the deal my opponent's going to go ahead he's going to take the walk pull the ripcord and that's the game so if you guys like this type of video you want to see more gameplays like this more defensive focused gameplays do me a favor hit the like button and let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man much it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below